Right, you need to get some glasses and then sit on a table. Okay, so you collect your glasses and find somewhere to sit. So we're here today at the Geocrease Academy. We're working with a year nine group um, looking at heart structure as an introduction to GCSE anatomy. Put your glasses on. So we've got the students coming into the classroom, picking up a ready set pair of glasses, fully charged, and the, the pumping heart in the background already going for the students to start visualising the activities. Okay, so if you could, just for a moment, just take your glasses off. Do get used to it because we're going to be using them and taking them on and off during the lesson. What we're going to start with is what colour is blood. So we need to get our, our thinking caps on. So what I want you to do is very quickly turn to the person next to you. I want you to discuss and think about preparing an answer for this. We're using both the um, 3D software as well as our normal traditional teaching methods um, to help support along the learning and get the students to really visualise some of the ideas. OK, if we just stop ourselves there. OK, and if we look at our success criteria, we need to be able to know the function of the major parts of the heart, dissect the heart and identify these major parts and apply our knowledge of the heart to answer the exam questions. OK, so that's what we're going to be doing this lesson. OK, what we've got is the heart pumps the blood around the body. It's a massive muscle, OK? When you actually get your heart, you're going to notice that there's a difference between the two sides. You're going to have a feel of it before you do anything on your dissection. What you are going to be doing is you are going to be doing your own heart dissection to look for these different structures, OK? We have four chambers to the heart. You've got two atriums and two ventricles, OK? The blood is received into the atriums and it's going to pass into the ventricles. You are going to try and find these parts in your own heart, OK? What we're going to do is we're going to leave the labels up on the board for you and you are going to have a heart dissection to try and find the different parts, OK? Your main tasks that I would like you to try and find are the two atria and the two ventricles. That is the first things you need to try and find. So we're going to get the hearts out, have a look at them. Can you all just take your goggles off and put them to one side? Can you make sure they're far enough away that they're not going to get contaminated or moved? And then you can help yourself to a heart and bring it back to your table. There should be enough for one between two and there are some gloves on the side. OK, thank you. Right, uh, so put your gloves on. Actually pick up your heart. Have a feel, have a touch of it. You're looking for which side do you think is the left-hand side, the side that's thicker, that's going to push the blood all the way around the body. So you're going to cut down and up, so it's a big, large V. Be careful how you are cutting, but you should then be able to fold it up and you would be able to see. The other option you can try and do is what's on the board. Okay, You can try and cut straight down the pulmonary artery. Both will allow you to see inside the heart. Okay. So you're going to cut down there. Now, before you label the heart, I want to go through some of the main parts that you need to be looking at. So if we just have a look at the heart, we can label some of the parts on here. So I'm just going to move it around a little bit so I can get it in the right orientation for me to look at. I can zoom in a bit closer. So if we have a look here, we've got our left ventricle on this side. I know it's a left ventricle because we've got this much thicker heart coming uh, muscle coming down this side. We've got our aorta coming out the top here. OK, so what I want you to do now is try and label your heart. Please use the model at the front, come up and have a move around if you're not 100% sure. Um, and then obviously check your heart dissection as well to help you. So we'll just switch on the oxygenated blood so we can see how that's travelling through the heart. What we've got is we've got our oxygenated blood coming in through our atrium, travelling through into the ventricle, before then being pumped out through the aorta to travel around the body. We've then got our deoxygenated blood coming into our um, right-hand side of our heart, travelling through the atrium into the ventricle, 
before going out through the pulmonary artery. Why do you reckon we have valves in our heart? Yeah, it's fantastic. It's going to let in blood, but it's also going to stop the blood from moving on. Okay, so when the blood comes into the left atrium, we don't want it travelling into the left ventricle at the moment. So this valve is going to close and it's going to allow the atrium to completely fill with blood. Okay, so if we look here, we can see the, the valve. What I want to do now is we're just going to zoom on this a bit closer. What we have managed to get is we have got some nice little... Um, 3D printouts of some of these valves that might be quite nice to have a look at so you can imagine how this one's working. Okay, so I'll, I'll get Mr. Puss a couple around so you can just have a, have a play with them. So this is just giving you an idea of what you've got a copy of there. Okay, these bits that are on the bottom are our tendons. They're the ones that are going to be able to pull tight to be able to open and close that valve. Okay. Can you see if you can try and find those valves and have a look at them? Look at the tendons that hold them in place. Okay, right, so what we want to do now, okay, is we are going to try and see how much you can remember. Okay, so I've got my heart that's been cut open, okay? I'm going to get someone to come up and label my heart on the board. We're going to start with the aorta. Please feel free to have a play with the, the model. Move it around using the mouse until you can find the right part that you want to label. So we're going to label the aorta to start off with. The students have responded really well to the 3D. They, they seem to have really appreciated how they can actually visualise some of the ideas. And I think it's helped them, particularly with things like the, the heart valves, being able to see how they're properly, fully functioning. Okay, if you want to access any of these models, so any of the 3D software or any of the, the, the different models that we've looked at today, please feel free to go and have a look at them in the innovation room. Use any of the computers up there and you'll be able to access any of this material.